Hmm. 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 So, I am trying this new way of recording. I know you're saying to yourself, this looks like garbage. Why don't you record on your phone, you dumb idiot? What's the point of buying a Samsung? Shut the hell up. The point of buying a Samsung is so I can text people, right? Don't you pay $800 just so you can text people and stuff like that? Anyways, a lot of people, hey, there's motherfuckers that pay $1,200 for a phone, literally to use Facebook. But anyways, um, uh, the topic today of this vlog, this is vlog number two. I haven't done it in a while because I haven't been feeling too great, which I admit. But I'm going to try to do a vlog every single fucking day, no matter how short. No matter how long, that's what she said. You just make a vlog and you just do it and you just do it and you just do it. Anyways, I'm doing this on my uh, PC at the moment. Um, I did it on my phone just to see how it works. I noticed that I can do use my camera audio and I'm sure it sounds like caca. So this is just an attempt to see how it comes out, blah, blah, blah. If it comes out like doo-doo and pee-pee, uh, I will make sure to do it on my phone. This is my phone. Look at how beautiful the case is. Wow, what the brand is. I don't even know. What is it? Unicorn Beetle. If you want an amazing... I'm not sponsored, by the way. This It brings a case so it doesn't break. And this is a real gnome. If you're wondering what's in my background, that's that's a gnome. That's a real gnome, though. I know it looked weird to you, but look it up. A uh, real gnome in sighting. Anyways, um, what I wanted to talk about today, to be honest, is something that I've been thinking about. Uh, I'm going to have topics every single day. But today, specifically, I will have, I'm not going to tell you because I have to do my intro first. Criminal Juice for the Blind. That's why I'm saying it out loud. Criminal Juice for the Blind. Oh, yeah. For the deaf, that's why I'm giving you sign language. You can see my beautiful shiny lips saying it as well. For those that actually have eyeballs, that work, that's including glasses, by focus or monocles. You got them, my burns. You can look into my crotch area. Go through my pubic hair for us. Keep searching. Keep searching. Did you find my name on my desk? I'm right there on the bottom. Can you read that? No, it's okay. It's pretty simple. I can teach you how to read. All you got to do is ask. Anyways, uh, the topic today is, in my opinion, letting people leave your life and being okay with it. I don't know if that's going to be the name of <laughs> the fucking my title. Whatever I write in the title, I don't think that's going to be it or whatever. Maybe it should be, why do I have two piss bottles in the back round? Maybe that should, you know what? That'll be the next vlog. Why do I have piss bottles in my room? But for now, let's, let's do this one. Being okay with people leaving your life. Okay? It's okay. You're not going to die. Also, not only being okay with people leaving your life, whether it's friends, whoever it is. Also being okay with being with yourself being alone not completely alone i'm not telling you to get rid of everyone you know and shit like that that would just be that wouldn't even make sense it's good to have people around you but it's not good to just have people around you just so they can be around you okay perfect example right here he's around me see i don't really like him but the point is he doesn't talk so it's all it's all good in the hood but the point is what i'm saying is um that's the best part no talking you see uh, are you going to say something? Exactly. Look, I can even spit on it. Are you going to say something? No? Okay, thank you. Anyways, uh, you're stupid. Uh, like I was saying, no, basically you just... Uh, there's a lot of people in life that... Uh, and I used to be this way too, where I thought in my head, Oh my God, I have to be in a relationship. Oh my God, you always have to be around your friends. Oh my God, you're going to go for a walk by yourself? Are you fucking crazy? You better make sure you go for a walk with somebody. You can't go for a walk by yourself. How dare you? You're going to go out to eat by yourself? What the hell is wrong with you? Go with somebody. And it used to feel like I always needed, like I needed somebody to hang out with. Or I always needed someone to do something with. And then one day I decided I'm going to get into meditation. Ooh, what's that? It's this. Literally did it today. This is what meditation is. Close your eyes. Stop all the horrible thoughts. Stop using social media for a second. Wake up. Don't look at your phone and just meditate for at least 20 to 30 minutes every day. It will change your life. But the point is that uh, it doesn't matter if you lose people in your life because they weren't meant to be there to begin with. And the only reason they would ever come back to talk to you again is because they're either bored or their life is not going good. 
because you know when you're around someone and you guys are always arguing or you guys are always in a mat you're mad at your friend you're mad at your girlfriend boyfriend it better not be an animal because like i always say bestiality is not allowed let me make sure you guys understand this this is not allowed in my stream and insectiality also not allowed don't ever do this in your lives or you will go to jail but anyways um yeah um I don't know, the bestiality really pissed me off, just the thought of people having sex with bugs and animals, but anyways, um, like I said, uh, if someone leaves your life, they probably were meant to leave your life, it's okay, you're not gonna die, oh my god, my best friend left me, I'm like, it's almost always gonna happen, were they actually your best friend, or did you just like to call them your best friend, you thought they were your best friend, didn't you, and then loyalty comes into play, and then bye-bye, it makes me think of that horrible song with Kendrick Lamar and Rihanna. The only reason the song is horrible because Rihanna's in it. But that's a whole nother story. I like the song until Rihanna goes, loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. I'm like, can you shut up, please? You're horrible. That, uh, moving on. Anyways, um, but yeah, don't be, be okay with people leaving your life. Me, I learned a long time ago, don't really care. If you don't want to be around me or I don't want to be around you, I make sure it happens. Bye. Excuse me. Can you leave me alone, please? I said, I said, anyways, uh, yeah, I want to be left alone and I like to be alone. I like to not have many people literally right now. If I have to think about how many people I talk to besides the people, when I do live streaming, that's a whole nother story. But the people that I talk to in life, in real life that I know in real life, like, Oh yeah. Hello. How you doing? There's only like two or maybe three people or something. And guess what? I'm okay with that. Because we give each other space. Get away from me. I, I love the space of it. They don't have to call me every single day. Bothering me every single day. I don't have to fucking. Like I don't have to tell you that I'm scratching my armpits. Oh my god. are you scr How are you scratching your armpits though? Are you doing it right or wrong? Shut the hell up. I'm doing, I'm scratching my armpits the way I want to scratch them, okay, baby? And you can't tell me what to do about it. But the point is that, uh, yeah, so is there even a point or am I just rambling? These are what vlogs are to begin with. But the point is that, uh, yeah, don't matter. You should just love yourself. What I did was one day I got separated from every single person. And this was the happiest I've ever been in my life. I separated from everyone that was bad, doing bad to me or just, I just, it's not even that they're, they're bad. It's just I couldn't be around them, whatever. Um, this is very distracting, by the way. It, uh, <laughs> this is what I'm staring at while I'm talking to you guys. Uh, a foot with a fucking Super Nintendo on it. It's really distracting. I'm like, why am I looking at a... Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, but uh, I took that picture, by the way. Um, but yeah, uh, what I did was I decided, I said, I want to be a streamer, but before I can be a streamer, I have to get my brain together. So what I did was I got into meditation. I looked up all these YouTube videos. If you don't listen, you have no excuse. If you're afraid to do meditation, I understand there's guided meditations, hypnosis. Please try it out. Trust me. I would know every single day of my life. I always say this be every day. I would always say in my head, oh, I wish I wasn't around. I'd rather be dead, blah, blah, blah. It's not like I wanted to, not that I wanted to commit suicide, but I would say, oh, please, I hope something happens to me, blah, blah, blah. Every single day, even when I would hang out with my friend, I would we would make jokes like, when is the meteor going to hit? Please, the meteor, the meteor, please, the meteor, come and take us away, blah, 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 blah. And it was a very negative way of thinking, especially having a friend that agrees with you and then you're both being negative about it blah 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 saying that shit every single day of my life then i said i'm just gonna try my best to get better i started meditating i've been meditating and i did it every day consistently that's one of the things if i really want to do something i just fucking do it but anyways i consistently did it every single day and i went for a walk by myself every single fucking day and what it did for my brain is the most unimaginable thing i've ever it's just, it's amazing what meditation can do for yourself to completely change your entire fucking life. Stop being lazy. Stop complaining. Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I can't do, li oh, listen. The only way you're going to fix it is if you actually do something. You can't just sit there and be like, oh fuck, I hate life and I understand how hard it is. But you have to give it a little, even if you do try five minutes every day and build up and build up, you'll see it'll get way better for you. Trust me, I would know. 
speaking from experience. And then uh, basically what I did was every single day, and then one day I said, I, this, this was the craziest realization I've ever had in my life. I was sitting there and I said, I don't feel bad. What? I have, I, I just feel alive. Like I just feel, and that's insane. Cause you know, everybody out there knows exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. There's always something stupid or stressful or just a weird feeling inside of you. You don't even know why you feel bad. You just feel horrible inside, whatever. Or maybe you know you feel bad, but you're not, you don't, you don't care to, you know, find out why. And I was like, I feel good. What the hell? And I stopped saying, and I also stopped saying, um, I, that I wanted to, that I want to die or I want to be away and all in the press. I stopped it. That was the most insane thing in my head that never popped up again. And I will admit recently, guess what happened, baby? I stopped meditating every day. And guess what? The negativity just kept crawling back in. I would meditate like every three days. And then at one point, I just went like like two weeks. I just hit a really bad depression. And it's because I stopped following my heart. That's why. So I'm getting back into meditation. Yesterday I started and I'm doing, and I did it today. And I feel great, to be honest. I don't even feel bad at all. I feel great compared to it. But I've been feeling very bad lately. And that one thought came to my head again like, I want to just go underneath a rock sometimes. I literally, this is what I imagine. Me crawling underneath a rock. And then everybody leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> like, please, just don't even talk to me. I don't even want to deal with anything. But in reality, what I have to do is be consistent with what I want to do. And uh, just believe in myself and my heart. And I hope everyone just leaves me the fuck alone. If you... And I'm talking about the people that used to be my friends and the people that I've known. It's just like, leave me alone. Like, you're not trying to talk to me because you're, because you, yes, I understand. You might love me. Yes, probably. Yeah, you love me, blah, blah. And I love you too, a whole bunch of, but obviously we do not connect. We obviously don't connect in a way. It's just, we don't. And it's sad that it has to be that way. And hopefully one day, maybe we don't share it's just like people that you've known for so many years and you're just friends with them because you've known them for so many years but in reality you have this weird resentment for them and it really is really really sad and it is what it is it is it is what it is that's the funny part about it because guess what i let them be and i hope them the best and i love them all and that's the best part about it. I love them from a distance. You got to love people from a distance because then it destroys you as a person because you're too busy concentrating on helping them or then they, or you're too busy this and that. And I don't mind helping people, but at the, at the point, you can't sacrifice yourself. If you're going through hell, you can't be like, oh, I'm going to be there for you all the time and only help you out. Especially if that person doesn't even care about helping you out either. Because I've been in that type of, type of situation so much. Where I'm like trying to talk a person, help them out, be positive. And then when I'm in my worst point in life, they never even consider helping me out. That shit pisses me off so much. And it's not, and you know what? It shouldn't piss me off. I should just be like, well, let me not, I mean, let me just stay away from you and, and put my energy into myself. Number one person is yourself. But criminal juice, you sound like you have any, what do you mean it's yourself? That just means you don't care about yourself and you don't love yourself if that's what you're actually thinking in your head. If you think me saying that you should just put 100% into yourself, if, you're, if, the, if the thought even comes into your head that you only care about yourself or something, you have, you have a, I feel bad for you in a sense because you're going to have to meditate and learn to be your own best friend. Remember, you have to be your best friend first before you can help anyone else out in the world. All I ask is for people you know the positivity i send out positivity to everybody else i want everybody to do great the funniest part about anything i do on youtube or anything my goal is not just for myself because i would be a liar to be like i'm not doing any of this for myself yes i enjoy entertaining or being creative that makes my small ass two inch penis extremely hard i play guitar because I love it. It makes me feel good, whatever. But number one thing that makes me feel good is scratching my armpit. But the number one, number two, th 
Oh, it's not that stinky. Anyways, the number two thing that makes me happy is if I can make someone smile or make someone happy in some sort of way. So I hope my videos or some t something somewhere down the line makes people happy and stuff like that. I don't know, whatever. I hope this helps people out because I have you know experience in these things and I know 100% about depression. Just recently, I hit depression extremely hard, but I'm back. And as you can see, I'm trying to stream and put out content and I need to stop missing days of just making a fucking vlog to, to, to help people out or to do whatever the case it is because it helps me out too getting the stuff off my brain that I've been thinking about. So I'm, I'm going to promise I'm going to do my best. And you know what? I shouldn't say I'm going to do my best. I'm going to say I am going to put out a vlog every single fucking day and hopefully it helps people out in the future. Luckily, these videos stay forever, so hopefully someone sees this and stuff. Also, let me know if this quality sucks. I'm going to probably look at it and be like, eh, I don't know if I want to record like this. I'm probably going to record on my phone. <laughs> I don't know if this setup is good. I don't know, but I like it because it's more comfortable for me because I have a camera and I could put it in any angle I want and do whatever the fuck I want to do with it, but we'll see how that works. But like I said, please meditate. It will change your fucking life. Please start caring about yourself and please stop letting people put you down and making you feel like you're nothing. Because those people are obviously, I, they're jealous of you or they just want to put you down and bring you down to their level. Kind of like when a drug addict tries to hang out with you. They know you don't do drugs, but they always offer you. They're like, hey, you want to drink? I'm like, you've known me for how many years and you're off and you're telling me if I want to do drugs? Dude. One of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life is someone I hung out with, and he said, man, Chris, I wish you would drink. And I said, what? I wish you would drink, criminal. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Because you're depressed, and, and, and drinking is what makes you want me to be in your depression, or you just want me to follow you. There's nothing more annoying than people that want you to do the things that they want you to do. When people tell me to do something, I'm just like, no. And they can't believe it. They're like, what? You actually have your own opinion and you're going to do what you want to do? I'm like, yeah, I want to do what I want to do. But thank you for trying to control me. That's a weird thing about people. They just want to control you, bring you down to where they are. They have nothing going for themselves or they're in a rut. So they want to pull you down in their rut. But it's like, dude, do your own thing and, and, and fix your own life and get your things together. No one is going to make you happy but yourself. That is it. Do you understand? When I look in the mirror and I see that I can see my nipple through this shirt, it makes me happy. When I play my video games, it makes me happy. When I make my music, it makes me fucking happy. Do you understand? When I pee in a bottle, it makes me happy because I know that I don't have to get up and use the fucking toilet to take the fucking piss. So please, care about yourself. Stop looking at yourself like you're a piece of shit. You can do whatever the fuck you put your mind to it. Fuck every, what everybody, this is the number one thing I always said. Fuck what everybody thinks. Do I look edgy when I do this? Oh, I'm Eminem. Look, I'm Marilyn Manson riding around in a go-kart. Doing a middle finger. Look at how edgy I'm. Look, I'm married a man to look. Am I edgy now or what? Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm going to put out a vlog every day. And I hope this helped you out. But you are every, you, you are everything. I, I don't even know. I feel like that's an R&B song. But yeah. You're more important than you think you are. And you're amazing. And you're a, you're, you are God. Because you control your faith. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. And I, love, and I love everyone out there. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I love you guys it's for the people that I don't talk to and stuff like that. But you guys got to go on your own journey and do your own thing. Please don't contact me just because you're bored. And don't contact me because, you know, it's Christmas time. Christmas time. Time to contact. I'm going to contact you because it's a holiday. No, no, that doesn't make any sense. I just want to be by myself. I want to improve on myself. I, I just want to I just want to just concentrate. I need to concentrate. And if a person actually actually gave up, 
If a person actually gives a shit about you, they will leave you alone so you can find so you can do your own thing. That's that's another thing. I just have to make sure you understand this. If a person just continues to try to bring you down, they don't give a fuck about you. But I do. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for listening, and uh, I'm going to upload this video now, and uh, enjoy the horrible quality. I'm going to rewatch it, and probably going to do a phone one next time, but enjoy. Suck it. Uh, can you suck it? Hold on. I have to put uh, something on the screen. Mm, I think this works. Yeah, this is what you need in your life. Thank you. Uh, thank you?